All right, we're here with Sean and Andy in Delray Beach, Florida. We just finished the premiere of their new TV series. So guys, you've never seen this before. No, it was our first time. What'd they, you think? Impressed, man. I mean, the cool thing going into this was, actually I was kind of nervous, but because uh, we didn't know what to expect, you know? I mean, we're behind the camera the whole time. We never get to see the edited version. So to see this was quite a surprise and I was pretty happy with it. Yeah, like Andy said, we were both really surprised and really pumped. We had a good turnout for the party and uh, hope you know everybody, all the viewers back home got to see it and uh, I think it's going to be a great progression for the sport and hopefully uh, see more of it coming. I mean, my impression was it was exciting but credible. I mean, the editing yeah. was kept under control. They didn't hype it too much and yet they showed a lot of the stoke you guys bring to it, so well done on that. Thank yeah, you. we really had some good workers behind us. We had uh, Ben Sampson doing uh, the production and uh, the filming and everything, and Mark Rackley, the underwater photographer, and Travis Swanson, he helped out with uh, yeah. you know, the whole promotion to Discovery and uh, kind of funding the whole show and kind of made it happen. Yeah. So we're really pumped and uh, really glad that the turnout and everything and can't wait to see the next couple episodes. That's great. So uh, Andy, what's the most memorable part of this whole experience for you to this point? Oh man, that's that's kind of a hard one to pinpoint just because there were so many amazing points in, you know, in the filming altogether. But I would say the Alaska, we've had some really, really neat experiences. Um, some behind the scenes things that happened were really cool and uh, one we almost got jumped on by a humpback whale and we actually <laughs> almost died yeah. and uh, we were just cruising along in a bay and all of a sudden the guys were yelling and we had a humpback whale in the air probably 15 feet from the boat land breached so, oh boy breached. Yeah. and, uh, and uh, the funny thing was is i was we were all sleeping yeah we were sleeping because so we were cold kind of and <laughs> we were being lazy and we missed one of the best things of our life so Wow. Hey, you know, that's what we get. How about for you, Sean? What's the most memorable part of the series to this point? Uh, I mean, I would think Alaska was definitely a, a Probably highlight Probably with me. Oh, and, yeah, <laughs> you see you some of the time, but you were a little bit of a camera hog, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, Alaska, I think it was probably some of the memorable moments and, you know, I've never been to Alaska and thought it was really exciting to be able to kite next to glaciers and, and icebergs and everything. It was just cool and all around. We got to see some neat wildlife. He said and, one thing. Yeah. Want to just calm down. Right? So, uh, <laughs> what do you, what do you, Andy, what do you think this is going to bring to the sport and to you as, a, as an individual? Well, basically just to get it out there and get people to understand what kiting's about, how easy it is you know how calm it can be and how how extreme it can be it's all on how you take it and that's the beautiful thing about kiting you can you can be as aggressive as you want to or as calm as you want to be and i think that's one of the beautiful things of kiting how about you sean yeah i, I mean the whole progression of the sport has come in a good way and i you know, hope to inspire other amputees to get out there and try the sport and just anybody you know i want everybody to be involved in the sport because it's kind of changed my life in a good positive way and I think it's going to keep going that way, hopefully, and I uh, just want to keep the good positive momentum going Yeah, I mean, with the sport and uh, you know, make everybody happy and keep a smile on their face. I mean, watching you on the screen, Sean, I, and I had to remind myself you oh, were we an amputee. <laughs> yeah, I it, guess it I was. It fell out of the picture. I was an amputee, but you know, sometimes I still have to look down and remind myself that you know, I have so many good... Double uh, amputee. <laughs> <laughs> I have, you know, such good backing. My uh, prosthetist, he's amazing, Adam Finnison, and my uh, prosthetic company that designs my feet, Freedom Innovations, and, you know, all my sponsors that help out with everything. I can't give them big enough thanks for all the support and help everything. Great. So, guys, last words. What about, what do we have to look forward to? Uh, we got looking forward to uh, Hood River, I think, yeah, and then Hood Alaska River. for two of them, and then another back to... Uh, the Oregon coast and then uh, Bonneville Salt Flats and you know hopefully we get to do another Thank six you. episodes I think they already got some locations lined up I don't think we're supposed to say but they're gonna be pretty wild if we go what uh, what do we need to do as viewers to see those extra episodes shot everybody turn their TV on and blow well, it up on Facebook no, e email e HD theater email and tell them it was yeah. awesome email who HD, HD theater. theater HD theater yeah. Guys, great job. Excellent evening. Excellent event. By Thanks way, for being a, the first. Thank you. He's a third. He has three amputees, but he was born with the third one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks again. Good right, wins. Thank you. Have a good